I have just secured a massive haul of stuff from the charity shop and I've run out of time. I need to go and get my daughter. So I've left it there in the back room and said, I'll be back, please. Just hold on to it for a minute. So I need to go and get Ada. Of course, it's a day that I'm not filming that I find a ton of stuff. But um, I'll slip this into a video at some point. I need to go and get it. I need to get Ada and then go back and get it. Do the packing. You put that in that big blue bag down there. Look. Oh. Oh. That's it. It's probably 1970s, yeah. 60s, them bags. You were just yeah, yeah. making Vintage, them. Like the Queen used to carry. Making them she? not survive, ain't you? We all work together. That's it, perfect. That is 87 pounds and 50 pence. 87.50, yeah? Yes. Oh my goodness. It's... Can I put my details in, please? I don't want to lose that. No, you don't. Right, let's <laughs> go first. A, rain a leopard rainbow. Somehow yesterday, I managed to spend 90 pounds in a charity shop. 87 pounds 50. Although the majority is clothing, it's definitely worth hanging around for. There's some funky little pieces in here. I've done no research on the stuff, but I will do some comps while I'm editing, hopefully, and put some screenshots up for you. Four pound is the Under Armour Saints top. Football top for four quid. That's my reason for buying it. Three pounds fifty, large size Nike Chelsea shorts. Three pounds fifty was my reason for buying it. If I know it's worth at least double that, I'm buying it. Ten pound for this Timberland jacket. Just a really nice pullover one, but it's got like a waffly material on the inside. I was hoping it's reversible. It is reversible. Get up there, son. This is what I was hoping for. I haven't looked at this stuff since yesterday when I bought it. Yes. I bought it thinking if that's reversible, that reversible side is a slammer. And it is. Oh, it's not my size. Are you fucking kidding me? Size medium. No, I thought it was a large. It looked big. Oh, no. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. Can I squeeze into it? Can I squeeze into it? Can I squeeze into it? Can I squeeze? Oh, I'm panicking. <laughs> don't know if I can. I don't know if I can. probably can if nobody asks me to do anything in life. Let's get some darkness in here. F the system, I'm going to wear it. £10, no idea on value, just wanted it for myself. The fact it was reversible was literally a suspicion because I saw this like waffly, look, it's like waffly, they call it something on shirt, that's kind of what it's called, material, and I thought, that's going to be reversible. I've not had time to look at it yet. Yesterday, while I was charity shopping, I was in there for such a long time, as you'll see, I actually had to say to them, can you please hold on to this? I'll be back. Three pound is this, I think it's like a teenager's Nike dress all in one thing. I think it's teenagers because it says large 146 to 156 centimetres. I mean, small woman can fit into that, I'm sure. Three pounds 50. Never heard of the brand before, but they were large sizes and they looked quite well made. They're called... Eden Park, they're £4.50. They just looked really, really, really well made. I don't know if it's worth it or not. I'm hoping it is. But I was just taking punts. You know, it's got a double zip on it, top and bottom. Really thickly made. Eden Park, I think when I looked on here, it said like Eden Park Paris as well. It's got the EAC tag. I don't know. Obviously, you'll know by now because I'll put some comps up. But Eden Park sweater, I think there was two of those. Yeah, got a grey one as well. Both £4.50. Hopefully, Eden Park's good. Four pound, we've got an Eden Hazard. I don't know who that is. Is that Madrid? I don't even know who that is. I think it's Madrid. I don't know. I'm not sure. But I was hoping that more than four quid for that Hazard one. It's got the La Liga stamps on the arm. Probably going to be fucking fake now. You watch. I haven't actually given it any, any fucking look over. I reckon that's fake. Yeah, I don't know much about football shirts, but I do know about quality. My suspicion is... I don't think they'd have like a tag like that. And that neck print just looks a bit tough, a bit, a bit janky. And I mean, they've managed to stitch over 
one of the gold stripes there. Yeah, now I look at it more and more. That quality is trash. That is trash. Oh well, again, another one I just took a punt on. £4.50, Le Pasteleurs. Just a thick jumper with padded shoulders. And look, uh, is that a dog or a badger? Don't know what that is, I've no idea. Don't know, just buying stuff. 75p for this vintage tube ringer. So you push your tubes through it, it helps you get every last drop out. Now this, because I'm pretty sure I've seen the brand before. I'm pretty sure I've seen this before. And it made me, that's what I said when I bought it. Dulwich Designs. I don't know if it's a purse or if it's a jewellery holder or what it is. But there's like a weird little handle thing there. You know, little zip pockets down here. Bit weird if it is a purse. But it's for something. I've sold, I don't know, it was all the way down there, like in there. But it sort of rolls up into a nice little fold here. It was 75p and it wasn't, it was £1.50. But I'm pretty sure I've sold that brand before. That's the only reason why I bought it. It was stuck in stuck in my head. And then, this is a nice little score. I picked up four bags. This one was four pound. It's Eros. I've sold Eros before. It's a nice vintage bag. They're in fantastic, great condition. Um, it just looks like somebody, unfortunately, has either passed away or gone into a care home and somebody just handed them all in. And then I've got four, a black, a navy and a cream all of the same brand, all four pound. They are all Waldy bags. W-A-L-D-Y bag, Waldy bag. So I'm tempted to sell them as a collection because I've got to say they're exactly the same. Just one's cream, one's black. There's a mirror in that one, little mirror piece. Just trying to find a lost shilling. And the blue one, there's a mirror in that one as well. So potentially I might sell them as a job lot. Last but not least, you might think I'm a little bit mental and I might still be a little bit mental, but I paid 30 pound for this, 30 pound. It says size six, so I'm guessing it's ladies, but is it though? Yeah, it's gotta be ladies. But <laughs> it's a 90s Ralph Lauren polo sport tag, size six, like a military blazer, probably equestrian type, Jacket, yeah, it is a question. Look, there you go. Look, Ralph Lauren got a fox on it there and some horns. <sighs> yeah, all I've got to do is find out the right keywords for this, and we could be well on to a winner. You know, it's going to be at least £80 back. I knew that straight away, but it could be even more. I don't know, but I knew that my 30 quid was all right. I knew I was going to profit on the 30 quid. But I really don't know any more about it than that. It's a polo, it's a Ralph Lauren polo sport on the 90s tag, size six jacket with what looks like now is that a fox or a dog it's got a, one of them big horns da, 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 and either a fox or a dog's head it's not a bloodhound that's for sure but it's either equestrian or hunting or that kind of thing breast pocket double pocketed here padded shoulders i just took a 30 pound punt on that one Hopefully it's going to be decent. So at some point I'm going to work on getting that listed today, of course. But in the meantime, let's jump into some sales if we've had any. I'm not even too sure we have, to be honest. Let's pack this in. Butterfingers. I do like this jacket. I think size-wise it's actually all right. I think because I'm so used to wearing baggy stuff, I'm used to everything being like hanging off me. Right, we've had, oh, one sale on eBay. The Becky bottle opener. That's how you open the bottle. And it's the, her name is Becky. £6.99 free postage. Once you get that one printed off while we're standing in the screen. Another sale, better slap this in there somewhere because I almost forgot because it's Instagram and I always forget the Instagram stuff. Until it's last minute anyway. Aboriginal Ian has picked up the Pikachu Pokemon shower gel bottle, which still has all the shower gel in it. Had it listed for £12 on eBay, he messaged me and said, how about a bank transfer? I said, no problem, just call it a tenner. And the man sent me 15. Love, love. Ian, that's coming on its way to you shortly, man. If you haven't already, go check Ian out. He is like, he's, he's living my life. He's in the bush, he's in the wild, he's doing stuff. He's just out there with nature. His feet are probably muddy as f but his lungs are filled with fresh air. And that's what I wish I was doing. We don't have that around here much anymore. Back in Northamptonshire, all of it. 
the things you take for granted, eh? Ian, big up, bro. I've seen a lot of talk recently about 90 days and people slagging off people for apparently bragging and people slagging off people for not being big enough. Your 90 day says a hell of a lot more than what it shows. And it also doesn't say enough about what it shows. There are so many variables about that. The only person your 90 days should bother is you, if at all. If you share it and somebody has a problem with it, it's their problem and it's also your problem because you shared it. If people want to be dicks, let people be dicks. You ain't going to stop that at all. But also, if your bills are paid, you've got food in your belly, you've got a roof over your head because of what you're doing on eBay, life's a dream. Who cares if you've got no savings like me? No posh things like me. My car's financed. Just stop worrying about what everyone else is doing. Stop worrying about what everyone else thinks about what you're doing. Just crack on, just do you. Be a monk. I'm trying so hard to not care about other things. There are little things that annoy me. Normally when people are cheeky, it's like how, 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 the audacity. Vinted. Like we've sold the Brazil hat. Oh man, the audacity. 5,000 capacity. Of course it was the very last fucking hat. Brazil, continental. 2014 sponsor, four pound all in, Lacoste jumper. Lacoste jumper paid a pound at a car boot sale, has sold for 10 pounds all in. Kieran actually wanted this, but I think somebody else has bought it in the meantime. I don't think it's him. Yeah, 10 pound all in. Right, and let's get the hat. I wonder if the hat fits in there. It'd be great if it does. Yes, boss. Perfect. It's vintage. They expect nothing less than that. It's a phone jail box. But I chose the box for one reason, because the peak fits in there perfectly without squashing it this way or this way. And it's a nice, nice snug fit. If, that, if I had to squash that or bend it or misshape it for any reason, I wouldn't have done it. But I didn't have to. It was perfect fit. What do you think about that polo sport jacket? Do you reckon I've messed up or what? Don't know. Sometimes you've got to take a chance, innit? Sometimes you just got to have a punt. Some of my best scores in life have been punts. And I, I can honestly say by punting, I've made more than I've lost. I have lost on some punts, of course. But my average is a lot higher for wins. I like the excitement of um, not knowing, punting, getting home and doing the research and then being like, yes! Or sometimes, no! Six pound sale still gets a box and bubble wrap. Just because the value is low, the product is still prone to damaging. Nothing to do with the customer that your margins are slim. Wish my belly was. I have been doing a lot of working out recently and in the mornings I am absolutely battered. My abs hurt, my chest hurts. The whole idea is I wanna I want to build all this back again. I used to have sit. I, I used to. Fuck it. This is what I used to look like five, six years ago. And that was on a bit of a cut down. I bulked and slimmed again after this. I used to be in really good shape. Now I'm honestly. Dad bodden. And I don't like it. I don't hate it. I just don't like it. I don't feel comfortable in my own skin like this. So I'm. Uh, Come on! I'm going to work out. I really want to do some research on this polo top, but I don't know where to start. I have tried typing in polo sport jacket. I did it all last night as I was sitting on my phone trying to remember what this looked like because obviously it was in the car. Just pulled it out of the car for now. Whatever. I am going to get those bags sorted out. Oh, by the way, Jason has claimed the DS. I'm going to get that shipped off today as well. Well done, Jason. Nintendo DS will be on its way to you. I will do a separate packing for that because... I can't be asked to open the laptop up and type your address out manually. I am going to rerun, because it hasn't been claimed yet and it's been a long time, so who cares. I am going to rerun today. This is the shoe trees. The two pairs of shoe trees and the extendable folding ruler for measuring your clothing and stuff. I'm going to be running this one again today. It wasn't claimed. I'm not, I can't remember what video it was on either. I'm not chasing people down. The whole idea is you've got to watch the videos to find out if you win. You give to me, I give back. It's simple as that. But before I do all that, I'm going to list those bags first because they're going to warm me up. Actually, no, I'm going to sit down 
with a coffee. I've got a chocolate swirl, an almond vanilla custody, whatever it's called, pastry, and an iced coffee. I'm going to sit and have that. I've actually done 11 listings this morning before I took over to preschool. The time is, I'm about to take that clock down. Can't find a battery for it, and the blue is really hard to read. So, Nigel and Claire, I feel like an absolute dick, but I can't find anywhere to put it other than here, which is where I'm going to put it. Oh, you can still see it on there. That's fine. Oh, that, never mind then. That's fine. That's what I thought for some reason it was out of camera shot. I'm going to put it just there. I'm going to find a battery and that's where it's going to go. It can't go there. It's just not. It's just too much. And I can't read it properly. But there, where it's darker in the corner, when you glare up, you can read it because it's like a really weird blue colour. Waffling, waffling. I wonder what this is worth. It's got worth a few quid, isn't it? What season is it? It's got to be new as well. It's got to be 2020, 2019. Spring 2021. I mean, the other side's not bad either. It's just boring, isn't it? Putting this on all the time, it does just feel a little bit too small for me. But then maybe is that what I'm supposed to be doing? I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm approaching 40, 36. But maybe this is how I should be dressing. No. How grey I look in this light, look. Right. You know, you know. Grey. Still grey. I want somebody to recommend me some decent skin hair colour stuff because I'm going to chop it. I'm going to colour it. I'm going to colour it. No, I'm not. Here we are. I'm loving my pastry. See in a bit. I've just hung up a little hook up there to hang my clothing on. The pictures look rather snazzy. Just thought I'd show you, really. Got the polo one done. Just going to work through this pile here and get it done. I mean, then I've dropped another track. Just going to get it all sorted out today. Get all that clothing up and get it shifted. I'm actually not going to focus on vintage as much. I'm going to try most of this on eBay. See what happens. Condition depending. Anything with little minor minor flaws or defects goes on vintage. Anything that's just great, you can just wear it as soon as it arrives. It's going on eBay. Just something I'm trialing. Making good progress on the clothing, but looking at this one a bit closer, I can clearly see it's some kind of warthog, pig, boar type thing. I believe that is a place in France. So maybe that just means like the Outback or something in France. <laughs> the French Outback, yeah, that exists. Yeah, I like that. Obviously you have to remember that I do mine in square mode, so it chops off all of this and all this. It works, it's good enough. But yeah, definitely some kind of pig. That is all of the clothing listed apart from the Timberland jacket. I'm gonna keep it for a while, see if I can get on with it. If I decide I don't like it, I'll sell it. I love the style. Just wish it was one size bigger. I am now going to crack on and get those bags and stuff done. Before you go anywhere, if you want an opportunity to win that box, which I've now lost with the shoe trees and the ruler in it, if you want an opportunity to be entered into winning that handy little reseller toolkit box, all you've got to do is type in the word missing down below. But I want you to incorporate it into some kind of sentence. Don't be boring and just put missing. Like Ricky, your brain is missing. Ricky, we are missing you. Even though I'm at Woden every day. Incorporate the word missing into a sentence down below for your chance to win. I massively appreciate your time and your energy and your efforts spent on my page today. I'm not going to ask you to like and subscribe because I know you've already done it. Haven't you? See you on the next one. Take care. Love you. Bye. I'm so grey, man. Oh, this light. I need to change this light. That's what I need to do. I was never that grey in the old unit.